Welcome to Learn Yourself. Try this sums page number 90 first. When you multiply a number by 6 and subtract 5 from product, you get 7. Can you tell what number is? So first we are going to write equation and then we are going to solve it and then we are going to find out the number. So let us first try to frame equation from this given detail. We do not know a number. What is this number we do not know? Let us assume a number equals to x. So whatever they have said here, a number that we are assuming is as x. So a number by 6. So we have to multiply a number. So that this x is my number. Now we have to multiply this x with 6. So I am going to write here x multiplied by 6 and subtract 5 from the product. So whatever we will get, we have to subtract from that. So 5 we have subtracted from this. You get 7. That means equals to 7. Now this is our equation. Can you tell what the number is? So we have to find out x. What will be the value of x? So first let us separate a variable and then we will find out what x is. So to separate a variable first we have to remove this 5. It is minus so we have to add plus 5 at both the side. So let us add 5 at both the side. So I am going to write 6x instead of x into 6. So minus 5 is already there. I am going to add 5 at both the sides. So 7 plus 5. Now this 5 and this 5 will get cancelled out. I will get here 6x equals to 12. 7 plus 5 is 12. Now again 6 is in multiplication with x. If I want to separate this variable x then I have to divide with 6. So in next step, we are going to divide with 6 at both the side. So 6x is there. Let us divide with 6 towards RHS and LHS. So 6 and 6 will get cancelled out and here we will get x equals to. So 6, 2 is 12. So x equals to 2 is the solution and the number what we have assumed is 2. So x equals to 2. So here we got the answer that whatever number they have said was 2. Now let us check whether whatever we have guessed is correct or not. So to check this you do not need to write. This is just only for the understanding. Now this is our equation. Let us put x equals to 2 into that. Our equation is 6x minus 5 equals to 7. So when we are Substituting value of x into this, we should get 7. If we are getting 7, then our, then our equation and x equals to answer is correct. So let us substitute x equals to 2 in this. So we will get 6 into 2, 12 minus 5. Towards RHS, we are going to do that. So 12 minus 5, we will get 7. So RHS is equals to LHS. So whatever equation we have written that is also correct and whatever value we have guessed and we have try this sums page number 90 what is that number one third of which added to 5 gives 8 so let us assume number equals to x. So we are assuming here number equals to x. What is that number? One third of which? One third of which means we have to multiply one third with that number. So one third into x because we have guessed that number as x added to 5. So we have to add here 5 gives 8 means equals to. Now this is our equation. From this, we have to find out what will be the value for x. So, we have to solve this equation. First, we have to separate the variable and then we are going to find out the value for the x. 
so now to remove this 5 we have to subtract with 5 at both the end towards rhs and towards lhs so one third of x plus 5 minus 5 equals to 8 minus 5 so with both the end we have subtracted with 5 now this plus 5 and minus 5 is going to cancel one third of x equals to we will get 3 now we have to remove this one third so 3 is in division so we have to multiply with 3 so in second step so multiply with 3 at both the end and we will get the solution for the x so one third is there we are going to multiply with 3 x equals to 3 into 3 so this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled we will get 3 equals to 9 now this is our number that 9 is our number and this is our answer that we have found out the number now let us check whether whatever we have found out is correct or not so to check this you do not need to write in a notebook this is just for the confirmation that whatever value we have found out and whatever equation we have written is correct or not so our equation is one third of x plus 5 equals to 8. Now our RHS is one third of x plus 5. So into this, if we are substituting value that is x equals to 9, then we should get answer 8. So let us substitute that value. So one third into 9, we are substituting value of x plus 5. So here 3, 3 is a 9 so we will get here 3 plus 5 equals to 8 equals to lhs so our rhs is equals to lhs that means our equation is also correct and our answer is also correct try this sums page number 90 second numerical there are two types of boxes containing mangoes each box of larger type contains four more mangoes than the number of mangoes contained in eight boxes of the smaller type. Now let us first understand the question and try to write equation for that. So there are two types of boxes. Small boxes are there and larger boxes are there. Now these two types of boxes, now what they are saying, each box of larger type, so they are talking about this, contains four more mangoes so there are four more mangoes in this kind of boxes bigger boxes then the mangoes contain in eight boxes of smaller types here they have already said that smaller boxes are eight in number and here the larger boxes are having four more mangoes than this eight boxes they have given us a mixed information for both the boxes. Each larger box contains 100 mangoes. Now these are larger box. So larger box, each box has 100 mangoes. So we know that each box has 100 mangoes. Within this 100 mangoes, 4 mangoes are more compared to the smaller boxes. And how many number of smaller boxes are there? 8 number of smaller boxes are there. Now this is all about our information. That all this information have been given to us. Now from this we have to frame an equation. So what do we have to find out here? Find the number of mangoes contained in smaller box. So, for one, so in one smaller box, how many mangoes are there that we have to count? So, this we have to find out. This is our question. That quantity of mango in smaller box, in one smaller box, that we have to find out. So, let us guess this number as x because that we have to find out. Now, with this x and this information, let us frame an equation. So, we already have x. That x number of mangoes are there in one box. 
in one box. Now, one smaller box has X number of mangoes. Now, how many smaller boxes are there? Eight smaller boxes are there. So, here I am going to multiply with eight. So, this is the quantities of mangoes in all the smaller boxes. Now, what all things are remaining? One larger box, four more mangoes are there. And each box has 100 mangoes. So we have total quantity that 100 mangoes are there. But that is in larger box. So if this quantity represents for the larger box. And this solution is for larger box. That in each larger box 100 mangoes are there. Then we have to make this equation for larger box. So in larger box 4 mangoes are more as they said. So this is the quantity of smaller box and each larger box has four more mangoes. And how many total mangoes are there in each larger box? 100. So that is how we can write the equation from this, from this pieces of information. That 8x that represents the total mangoes in smaller box plus 4. Why have we have written here plus 4? Because solution that is 100 that total mangoes represents in larger boxes. So here we have to make this solution for larger boxes. Now in larger box 4 mangoes are more compared to smaller boxes. So I have added here 4. Now this is my equation and from this I am going to find out the x. Once I will find out the x, I will get the quantities of mango in one smaller box. So let us find out the x. So our equation here is 8x plus 4 equals to 100. Now we have to separate this variable which is in addition with 4. So first we are subtracting with 4 towards both the sides. We will get here 8x plus 4 minus 4 equals to 100 minus 4. So this 4 and this 4 will get cancelled out. We will get 8x equals to 100 minus 4. We will get 96. Now 8 is in multiplication with x. So if we want to separate this x, we have to divide with 8 towards both the side. So here we will get 8x divided by 8 towards RHS and same way we are dividing with 8. So 96 divided by 8. So 8 and 8 will get cancelled out and here we will get 12 8s are 96. So x equals to 12 we got as a solution. Now what is our x? x is number of mangoes. That number of mangoes contained in smaller box. So in smaller box, 12 mangoes are there. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.